Welcome back. Your girl has upgraded. It's two, three, four on the clock. And I don't have headphones anymore because me and old boy broke up. Yeah, well, he broke up with me. And then I had a severe panic attack. And then I just dipped because obviously something was about to go down. And then he ended up telling me, like, I think like a month later. And I don't have his headphones anymore because it's his. And... I'm just gonna hold the mic because I love my mic, so I might get some headphones down the line. But I got my apartment. <laughs> I got my apartment, and things are going great. The sirens. Mm, money, money, money. I am grateful that things are going very well for me. I am grateful that I'm protected. I'm grateful that I went through the lessons. Because, honestly, I wanted to leave the relationship at the beginning of the year when I had no money and I was going through depression because I lost my dad and I didn't have a great relationship with my mom. Still don't because who knows? Who knows why, honestly? But I've talked to several people about my situation and they came to the conclusion that was very similar to mine. And that's what this episode is going to be about. One, two, three on the clock. What is up with mother and daughter relationships when it comes to, I guess, different beliefs? I feel like it's way bigger than that because I don't want to say that it's a competition with me specifically, but it's just, I can tell the difference between a mother and daughter relationship that are loving to each other versus the one where the mother is just mad like just mad at her own daughter for some odd reason and I feel like specifically me I don't really like I'll take accountability for the things that I have done but realistically all my life like literally all my life I was always put to the side and with my situation it's more so my mother having abandonment issues because she was abandoned of course but she wasn't by me so what is she mad at me for Oh, because she doesn't want to take her anger out on the people that actually hurt her. She just puts them on a pedestal and respects them for who knows why. Because I honestly don't read the Bible, but I don't think she does either, really, because she can't really believe in the scriptures that she can't remember. So it's just like everybody's just saying their own stuff and don't even know what the Bible says. I don't think the Bible says to put them on a pedestal and you'll go to heaven. I don't really believe in heaven, so... That's what I mean by beliefs, because it's more so of me not believing in the same thing she does. She is more traditional with them, and me is more spiritual. It's like, just be a good person, and good will come to you. Love yourself, and you will attract love. And like I said, like just be a good person. Try your best to be a good person, and good will come to you. That's what I believe in. Shout out to my ancestors, because that's also what I believe in. But the thing is with that, it just turns into a, I guess, fear thing. Like, they're afraid to just let close the Bible and actually think for themselves. So when I put that to the challenge, now it's a problem. Now I'm the problem. Now I'm so disrespectful. Now I'm just lashing out like everything just went out of control because of weed, I guess. Because what I realize is that people try to make you look bad and make you feel bad about yourself just because you want to stand alone. Like, oh, you want to just say you did it on your own when in reality I did. I did, and I was forced to. I was forced to be this independent woman, and I'm grateful for it because now I can actually stand up on my two feet and stand up for myself when it comes to, okay, I don't like this. I don't want to do this, so I'm not going to. And honestly, forget about everybody else's opinion, including your family, because they don't even know what they're doing in life. And then when my family tells me that they don't even know what they're doing, that clarifies that, okay, if you don't know what you're doing, why would I listen to you? But of course, that's going to be taken the wrong way. So adults being adults, well, grown-ups being grown-ups, they're big-headed. They want to be right about things, and I feel like that's my situation like everybody just wants to be right like no if you're wrong you're wrong but the traditional way is oh you can't call them a lie oh you can't correct them you can't 
do this, you can't do that, you can't question them. Like, it's just be stupid stuff that they make up along the way that's honestly not in the Bible in the first place, but they claim to go by that. I don't understand what God they're serving because they be terrible people and then don't really want to do better for themselves. And since they don't want to do better for themselves, they don't do better for their children. They just say you have to have children to get it. But I've talked to multiple people with children and they seem to get it. They seem to actually realize my situation. And when I'm talking to my mother, it's just like a, you just don't want better for yourself. And you're gonna blame every other thing that does, honestly, which is me. I'm not being a victim. I'm not gonna keep blaming people for my problems. I'm going to heal. I'm going to do better for myself. And it just irks her. <laughs> Let me take a breather because I said it in like two breaths. Oh, it just irks her. And honestly, I don't mean to compare my the mother-daughter relationship that I have with others only when I'm not necessarily confused, but just trying to realize that it's not me and it's not my fault. And I used to blame myself because it's like, oh, what am I doing wrong for my mother not to accept me for who I am, for my mother to not love me for who I am? She never took my side for anything. She never made sure that I'm behind you. She just says the words, just like I love you. Like, it's just like, okay, you're saying these terrible things about me, and you're doing these terrible things to me, and yet you're saying you love me? Like, and I know that's a repetitive thing with the generations because her parents do the same thing. They just want some money out of her, so they just say, oh, yeah, I love you, but treated her like shit when she was growing up or didn't even or really they just abandoned her like they literally abandoned her growing up so it's like okay what do y'all want from me not even y'all what does she want from me I can't make up for what they did but she makes me feel like I have to and it's like mm, I'm a child just like my brothers but yet it's on me to take care of them as well like I can never be selfish and I'm I'm the most selfish now and I really feel good I'm gonna choke in my spit <laughs> because it's like damn like I can't do good for myself and feel good about it without you making me feel bad about something like it's literally repetitive with her let me slow down because I do be trying to say everything in my breath oh as I was saying it's just the fact that she always tries to make me feel bad for doing something for myself especially when it's not the traditional way and it's like, if you didn't live the life that I am currently, why put your opinion on everything, especially when it's a negative one? And that's disrespectful of me to say, I guess. But they just be throwing the word disrespect around whenever they don't like something you say. And I really don't care because I know I'm not doing anything wrong. And when I used to just take her word for everything, that's what really divided me from everybody because it's like, why are you telling me this, that, and the third if that's not what actually happened? And you know what my conclusion is? She's what's the word covert I think I'm saying it right but she is a plain narcissist and she's a proud one at that so that's really why our relationship don't work out it's just the fact that she loves what she's doing she doesn't care about what anybody else feels or do as long as it's going her way and hey everything can go your way over there because every opinion that people give me that's about our relationship is just oh she just loves you but you gotta love her from a distance Clearly, y'all get it, but you don't care enough. So, hey, it's not your situation to care about, but when someone keeps playing victim to their wrongdoings, you get tired of it. You're over it, honestly, especially when you know all your life you've been told that you're doing something wrong. Like, literally, no, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong. And they're sitting around not doing anything at all. It's like, okay, why are you putting your opinion on everything if you're not doing anything? You're literally not doing anything but watching me. She's watching me through her screen, watching me, listening to everything I'm doing. It's just, it's weird at this point. And that's what narcissists do. Like, it's either their way or no way. And it's never been my way, but she's going to reverse everything back to me. Yo, well, you did this. Well, you did that. I thought you were the grown-up. And that's the talks all the time. She's the grown-up. I'm the child. She's up here, I'm down here, and yet I'm down here getting it, and she doesn't, but I feel like she really does. She just doesn't want to change, and I know when I have children, I'm going to do my best to, I guess, change for the better. I don't want to call it changing. 
I would say growing, just growing for the better because it's like, if this is going to benefit our relationship, I'm going to do better. I'm not going to make excuses after excuses after excuses. And that's what these people do. They did that because they love you. What? Like, I don't even want to give examples, but I probably will down the line just because it's like, fuck it. Like, I really don't care. I really don't anymore. And every time that I don't, it's like, it benefits me. And I love that, honestly. Because after my panic attack, I had nowhere to go. So I had to stay with her. And I'm like, okay, as soon as I get here, I know I'm going to have to get out of that situation as well because it's going to keep... Because <laughs> I don't want to be here. Like, I literally wasn't talking to her this whole year of 2023. After my dad died, like, the week of Christmas... But like the the week before, I just know we had the funeral like two days before Christmas. It's December 2nd and I don't know if I'm even gonna go down there. Just because even Thanksgiving it's like, oh, are you are you coming? And it's like, you never even told me you were having Thanksgiving at your house purposely. Like she just has a problem with me and it's very weird because I'm like, oh, she doesn't have a problem with you. She has a problem with herself. So back to me actually staying with her for like a few weeks no, I ain't gonna lie. It was October. It was September, October. It was September, October. I was staying with her. And, of course, while I'm crying and going through a breakup, having panic attacks, she wants to keep trying to find things. Oh, what can I say to her today? What can I do today? And it's like, okay, I'm going to stay in the room. And then when I stay in the room, it becomes a problem as well. Let me just break it down because this shit's weird. And it's obvious so boom I first get there you know of course she's gonna fake it till she makes it because it's what she's used to she just likes to pretend a lot so I'm thinking okay we're good because I didn't block her the whole year I blocked her the first two months of this year but she claims I had her blocked all year just because she never tried to talk to me because she wants me to know that she's just gonna abandon me too. And that's what she likes to make me feel like I'm just abandoned every single time. And of course we know that's because she was, but she's gonna keep using an excuse and that's what bothers me. It's like, okay, we know, we get it, okay. Sob story, what are you gonna do about that sob story? But that just, just hits her hard. Oh, sob story, you don't care. It's not that, it's just the fact that you're using that as an excuse on how you act instead of doing something about it. Like the grown up you say you are. Because I'm a grown-up. I'm a young adult. I'm going to make mistakes. But are they actually mistakes for you? Or you just like to do it just so you can have something already ready? I'm going to do this and then say it's because it is. That's how I feel. But back to me actually staying with her. She let me know that she wanted to go out together. And I'm thinking we're actually going to have a bond. But no, I was tricked, of course. Because I'm always like, oh... This is her trying, and then boom, she switched up on me and lets me know that, no, I was playing, I was kidding, I wasn't going to actually spend time with you, like, I don't know what you're talking about, this this is the day that's only for me, and it's like, you literally said we we're going to have this day together, but hey, I already knew you felt some type of way, because I didn't tell her happy Mother's Day, <laughs> and this is exactly why you didn't get one in the first place, because you treat me like nothing, and then when I ignore you, all of a sudden, oh, I'm so disrespectful. The people that get it, get it. Like, when you're fed up, you're just fed up. Especially when you know you don't do anything to people. You don't harm people on purpose. It's like, if you're going to put yourself on that pedestal, at least do something good instead of just trying to live the same lives as your parents because you put them on a pedestal when they do nothing for you. I'm so grateful that she spent a lot of money on me because it seems like that's the only thing she can do for me when I'm like, okay, I don't want your money. What else can you do? It's crickets. Or matter of fact, it's not crickets. It's more so of, oh, well, I, I just, I can't do anything, right? You just want me to be perfect. It's always that. And it's like, oh my gosh. Just answer the question. Please, please, please. And it seems like there's no answers because it's like money is everything to them. You have to have money to matter. And when I show that I don't care about money, now it's stuck. Now it's, oh, you're not doing anything. What are you doing? 
And she's literally sitting around not doing anything but watching me. Like, it's weird just because I am grown and you shouldn't be in my business like that. But, of course, as a narcissist, she doesn't believe in privacy. I'm her property. She keeps saying I'm her child and really she treats me like I'm her property. And it's like, okay, if you want me to actually do good in life, what are you doing to help me? As my mother, what are you doing to help me besides telling me all the things I'm doing wrong? Can you give me some tips on what to do right? No, because you just want to be in that standpoint. So boom, after the thing about us actually spending time together, I already knew she was tricking me once we already had our argument because she just kept oh, shut up, shut up. And it's like, what are you telling me to shut up for when I'm trying to talk to you? And of course she's going to leave the room because she doesn't know how to communicate. This grown-up, this child, but she doesn't know how to communicate. And it's like, okay, if you don't know how to communicate, of course you're not going to be able to just say that, but it's like, what is there to talk about? People in this family, they just want to push stuff under the rug and then keep, oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How are you? And it's like, what? You don't think that's psychotic faking it until you make it and then when you don't make it you get mad like no <sighs> confirmation burden I'm not gonna fake it just for you to feel better about yourself when you know you did wrong and then when I bring it up now it's, oh, it's we're always bu bumping heads nobody's bumping heads with you I'm just chilling I'm living my life and that strikes a problem so you're gonna try to find something the next thing I'm literally going on about my day because I have to stay out the house to not bump heads with her because she tried to find something wrong. Oh, you're getting so skinny. Like, what happened? Uh, maybe depression. Maybe. Again, I just went through a breakup. Panic attacks. I'm not eating. Like, let's, let's be real. But she's trying to have something on me because she's just getting on the phone real quick to tell people about my business once again. Like, no one told you to get on the phone and tell people what's going on. But, of course, you're going to make that as an excuse. Oh, I hope you didn't care that I'm telling people. You know I do, but keep continue to be the loving mother that you claim you are. <laughs> of course, of course, because you never asked me if you could tell my business because, again, I'm her property. I'm her child. I'm, I'm her property when I'm not. But if we're going to air out family business, we might as well air it all out. But I'm going to wait for my moment because I don't really care to be messy. I just care about my well-being. So let me stop saying that. I'm not even going to air out anything until I hear some big stuff. That's when I talk big because I am very quiet. There's nothing to really discuss with people that don't care. You know, like you could tell people don't care. They're just nosy and messy. Ding. So I don't hang around that. It's just... People that actually show that they genuinely care about me. I usually talk to them. Shout out to Keisha. But even with that, it's like outside family can only do so much. And she's done a lot for me. Like she's done more than what I would think, you know? So it's like she's jealous of our um, relationship. And you could tell that. And she did the same with my uncle. Like it's crazy. And that's what I'm going to get into next. As I'm coming home, this is when I figured out that she was watching and listening to me because she'll bring up topics that have nothing to do with her. I'm texting my friend. Um, I'm getting clothes, and I'm going to a thrift shop. She comes in a few minutes later with two suitcases of clothes saying, hey, these uh, are from so-and-so. They don't want them anymore. You can have them. These are brand new clothes in two suitcases. And she left them behind. I don't want them. They were worn. Oh, but I mean, if you're going to the thrift store, it's the same thing. Hmm. That's one. Two was, she locked me out twice. And then when I brought it up to her, it became this little thing. And that's what narcissists love to do. Like, everything that they literally do wrong, it turns into an excuse on why they did it. Or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I did that. It doesn't matter. Okay, if it doesn't matter to you, then there's nothing to talk about. Next thing. She kept calling me crazy. I guess what I believe in. Who cares? Kept calling me crazy. Kept trying to say something's wrong with me. 
after I asked her a simple question, are you recording me? Because she came upstairs on some bull crap again, of course, because I stayed in the room. It's because I stayed in the room. You see what I mean? She finds a problem with me when she keeps trying to create one. Like, I don't know what she'd be thinking downstairs because she literally does nothing. She just sits and does nothing and has the audacity to come up to me about any little thing that I do wrong. So she came up there talking about all the disrespectful things that I did. Or, well, literally a short list because half of it was made up. Because I don't know why she just sits around and makes stuff up that she know didn't happen. But I guess it's because she's so forgetful. She's so forgetful of all these things that she does. So it's like, what is there to talk about? What is there to really talk about, like honestly? So I asked her, are you recording me? She's going to say I'm crazy. Something's wrong with me. What are you? Da, 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 da. Going in. Five minutes of her going in because I just blocked her out because I'm still looking at her phone like, girl, if you pick up that phone and try to leave because she kept going in and out, checking on her food, whatever. But it's like, okay, if you get up and leave and pick your phone up a certain way, ding, to stop the recording, I'm going to be like, okay. All right. I caught on now. But no, y'all. <laughs> I'm crazy because she's not recording. I'm sorry, she was not recording. What she was doing was picking up the phone. And coincidentally, Scooby, my brother, is on the phone. Oh, I didn't even, I forgot you were on the phone. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. Scooby, I didn't know you were on the phone. I just, I'm, I'm hoping y'all see a pattern of this. I'm hoping y'all see a pattern of this. I'm hoping because I know everybody that I've talked to, they see a pattern. And we're going to continue. Um, So she picks up the phone. Oh, yeah, hello, Scooby. Yeah, I didn't know you were on the phone. I'm sorry. So technically, y'all, she wasn't recording me, but she was still trying to set me up. And what's sad is she's trying to get my brothers involved to make them think I'm crazy. When in reality, you do have cameras everywhere probably even in the bathrooms because you make it clear that something is wrong with you but you don't want to admit that something's wrong with you you have issues you literally have issues that you can resolve or even better but you want to sit in your issues you want to play victim to all of your issues like come on and then i have issues but am i blaming you no i'm telling you what you actually have done and i'm asking you what are you going to do to better it and I guess that's challenging her because she wants to sit and just be the victim. Like, no, this is what you did to me. This is what they did to me. This is what, this is what. <sighs> it's very exhausting talking to people like that. But me still having love for my mother, it's like I'm trying to give her a chance. I'm literally trying to give her a chance. But she doesn't want to take it. She just wants things to go her way. She just wants to treat me like the people that treated her. And it's like, that's not fair. And I'm not doing it next so i just want to say i'm grateful again that i have my own apartment because i already know even she didn't believe i would get my own apartment because before that little rant that she did well that trick that she just pulled to act like she was wasn't recording but she was on the phone with my brother mm -hmm. before that when i was down crying depressed about life she's oh nay i'm just so proud of you what are you proud of because honestly, when she says good things to me, she literally makes sure that I'm just at my worst so that I guess, I guess she wants me to just hear the stuff that she thinks I want to hear. And it's like, girl, you ain't never told me you were proud of me. So what, what are you proud of exactly? I ain't got no car. I ain't got no house. What are you proud of? But that's the only time I hear that she's proud of me. And I'm going to skip right quick because not one time did she say she was proud of me of getting this. She gave me a high five. <laughs> She gave me a high five, like she literally, I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> and she purposely didn't tell people that she was around talking to when they asked about me. Oh, how's Nate doing? She's very quiet about this. She's very quiet about my actual accomplishments. So that just lets you know. That just lets you know. Y'all know. If you know, you know. But I'm going to hop back to. When I was down, she's talking about, oh, I'm so proud of you, Nay. Like, I just want the best for you. You know, I love you. Da -da 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 -da. 
I got this house for y'all. Like, I got this house for y'all. I feel like I was in a Lifetime movie. Like, when I'm staying there, I feel like I'm on a Lifetime movie because it don't make sense on the way she acts and then switches up on you. Like, so quick, she switches up on you. Like, oh, I thought this house was for us, but you're trying to put me on restriction? Like, what? And you're locking me out the garage? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? In broad daylight, the garage door is closed. I have a garage door opener. I'm the only one that's going inside the garage, so we can we can pretend all we want. Matter of fact, no, we can't, and that's what she doesn't like. She doesn't like the fact that I don't pretend. Like, okay, why did you do this? Why did you do that? You don't know why? You forgot? Okay. There's nothing to talk about. I'm going to continue to live my life because I'm not going to sit around and question why my mom acts like this, why she talks to me this way. She got problems of her own, but does she want to do anything about it? No. No, 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 no. She just wants to pretend that I'm being disrespectful and the weed just got to my head, I guess, because she swears that I was just fucking a fucking addict. And that's what I really hate because she's just trying to create this storyline of me. And it's weird because I literally don't do anything but mind my business. And that just irks some people. Who knows why? But, um, anyways, what was the next thing? Oh, yeah. So when, I'm going to skip back. I'm going to skip, well, hop to what I was talking about, about this. So, after she discussed that she bought the house for us, but it's treating me like crap, I said, I don't even want to stay here. Like, this is just, this is just because, excuse me, confirmation again. This is just because we broke up. I'm I'm still trying to get my own apartment. She got very silent then, so I already knew she wasn't with the apartment thing. Because she's like, well, you need to at least wait till you get better and da-da-da. But she treat me like I'm so sickly. Like, yes, I'm trying my best to get over my panic attacks just because I don't know what I'm doing now. Like, oh, everything's going through a spiral. Well, this year felt like it was going through a spiral, but really, I, everything was getting removed from me to get better things. Like, I wouldn't be here. I would have still been stuck not doing anything in in the, in, goddamn, in the relationship. I would have just been sitting there still. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the lessons. I'm grateful that my car is gone because if I was still holding on to that, I wouldn't be able to get another one. So it's just down the line, I feel like I'm doing better. But I want to say the main thing is, should I? Fuck it. When she was saying that I blocked her for this whole year and she didn't get a Mother's Day, she thinks it was just because of some petty, not even an argument. It was just like her telling me to get my own apartment literally last year. But it was only because she remembered me saying that I wanted my own apartment like five years ago. Like when I was still in college, like you... You're talking about something that was way beyond and you keep trying to pretend like you're helping me and that's what bothers me she'd swear that she's helping and then when i tell her it's not helping now it's a problem it becomes a problem every time and it's like you know what you're doing i know what you're doing so if you're the grown-up up here and i'm the little child up down here why can i get it and you don't she does y'all she does she does she does so let's continue i didn't want to talk to her because she took my dad in and he passed before Christmas. And like I said, like she has a problem with blaming people for her stuff. And I did have a problem with blaming her because I'm like, what did you do that for? I'm not finna cry. No, I'm not finna too. Because I'm really bothered. 303 on the clock. I'm just, well, I used to be very bothered at the fact that she would make herself look good and try to make everybody look bad. All the stories she told me about these people that hurt her, it w w when she treated me the way she do, it's like, okay, what have you done, though? It makes me think, what have you actually done? Do you take accountability at all for the stuff that you do? Like, I'm... <sighs> I ain't gonna be too long, I ain't gonna be. <laughs> I'm trying. I ain't gonna be too long. But what really bothered me was the fact that she took 
my dad into try to look good again. You didn't even like this man. You talking about him being a drunk and doing this, doing that, making him feel bad about himself, making sure that he feels like he's doing wrong when he's literally the only man that stepped up to be a father to three kids and only one is his. The youngest is his. So what what exactly was he doing wrong besides him drinking? Of course, you're going to find a problem when, honestly, honestly, he was the only man I ever I was gonna say met, but really the only man ever in my life that I've seen that wasn't beating on their wife, that wasn't beating on people, getting mad. Like he he literally was the nicest person I ever met. Him and my grandmother, and she passed before him, his his mom. It just bothered me that she talks so much mess and does so much. It's like, who are you? I said I wasn't going to cry because I really don't want to I just want to get this shit out like bro I look up for again it's, it's my off day. I don't really care. I don't even work for real. This is my chill day, so don't talk about my clothes. But it's just the fact that I was thinking, like, who are you to talk about anybody? Like, that was my limit. When she did that stupid shit, bro, it, that was my limit. Because it's like, you literally talk this man down, make him feel bad about himself. To the point where it's just like, what do you want to take a man for? To look good again? Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. You literally did not like him. Why do you want him in your house? Like, like her house is a, it's like a trap. Like, she just wants to feel good about herself. To take care of people. It's like a nursing home. Like, all the stories that you hear about nursing homes. And they how they treat people. I guess I wasn't there. I didn't even go to her house when she told me. Well, she, matter of fact, she didn't even tell me. She was literally saying down home after Grandma died that she was going to take him in. And he's literally saying, no, he don't want to go. And I was literally down home talking to somebody and was like, can you talk to my mom? Can you please tell her to stop trying to do stuff that people don't want her to do because she just wants to look good instead of just listening for once because she's a terrible listener. She doesn't know how to just listen, listen, just listen for once, especially when it does good for you because what is he doing? He just lost his mom and you trying to look good in front of everybody else instead of just minding your business. You trying to become his mother when nobody asked you to do all that because you don't even know how to be nice. You don't even know how to be good to somebody without expecting something in return, without just doing and saying the most vile shit for no reason and I know she did that especially while he's at his lowest like this man was at his lowest and you literally want to take him in just so what you could say whatever you want behind closed doors because I, I already know I already know her I already know her like I already know her because he ended up staying in the hospital right after because I already knew she wasn't going to be able to take care of him. she just wanted to take him so that he can go somewhere else like nobody asked you to do stuff like I don't like people like that I really don't like I really don't like it bothers me every time I come into contact with people like that because they just want to say they helped you instead of just helping you like Ain't nobody even asked for your help in the first place. And then here we are. He commits suicide. He doesn't even want to be here no more. I had times where I don't either. But it's just the fact that I'm not blaming people for that. Like, I want to do better for myself. But I just, uh, I just couldn't do it. Because it, honestly, honestly, honestly. I don't want to deal with anybody. 
I want to be there for my brothers, but it's like, if she is in the way, ain't no point in doing that. And I'm going to tell you for real, those two months that I had her blocked, she literally asked if she could come up to my house. But it's like, all I said was, we can have a FaceTime. And again, something doesn't go her way. So she turns into, Nay just don't want to talk to me, so she don't want to talk to anybody when they never said that. Anybody could have hit me up if they actually wanted to. But in reality, my phone turned off just in the right time. My phone turned off. So nobody could text me unless I texted them. And I'm not texting nobody. If they weren't talking to me before, I'm not going out my way to text anybody. I don't even text. Whoever I'm talking to is whoever I'm talking to. So that just stays with that. But I just, I was just over her after that because there's nothing to talk about. Especially when you don't want to be honest with yourself. And all I've been asking her was just to learn how to listen and be honest. And I literally sent a whole paragraph and she, it go right over her head. Oh, I, I'm just so confused on what's going on. And it's like, you're not confused about anything. You, you can clearly see what's going on here. But again, you're such a loving mother, you don't do any wrong. So what's the point? What's the point here? You do no wrong. So what's the point? People that act like that, it's... It's nothing you can do. It's nothing you can do, especially when they're putting themselves on a pedestal. But getting knocked down off that pedestal, and all of a sudden, it's everybody else's fault. <sighs> I don't know. I honestly want to continue to not put myself on a pedestal just because I'm doing better for myself. Because I don't feel like I'm better than anybody. I feel like she sees me that way like I literally say oh I'm doing this and I'm doing that but it's good things and she's very silent anything that I have going on that's good it's, it's literally nothing it's crickets so she makes sure that I feel like I'm not doing enough in her eyes when I, I stopped caring about that and that's what really started making her do bigger things and just like hey I don't I don't, you're a grown up now, but you treat me like a kid, so I'm going to treat myself like a grown up because I am one over here in my own space. And I'm grateful for that because while I was under her roof, she tried to make me feel like I'm still a child again. And I don't like that because you don't even know how to love me like a real mother. But can I blame her? No. But do I expect better from her? Yes. You can only do so much. I just, like, the moral of this was really just a rant about her because I don't have anybody to talk to that really gets it, gets it. But I just am over it. I'm over trying to feel bad about me doing things that I know are good for me. And I'm over the traditional beliefs when everybody got mixed beliefs in the same criteria. Like, how y'all all Christians, but y'all not doing nothing. Y'all not actually living by the word that y'all are reading. You can't even remember the words that you're reading. Like, nobody knows how to say the scriptures word for word on that side of the family. But yet, claim they're Christians or just go to church whenever they feel like it. Like, okay, do that, but can you at least... I'm not going to say do it right, but at least do what you say you're going to do. I mean, I'm saying what I'm going to do, and I do it. And I thought it was that simple, but I guess when you get older, they just make excuses after excuses. I know when I get older, I'm not going to do that. I feel like me getting older is me growing even more and not just being here and pretending that I'm up here. I don't know. I don't know what, what that is because they put themselves on a pedestal and just skip around the actual growth, skip around the good change that they could do for their children and for the, their sisters, brothers, like do good for the people around you because you're, because you're doing good for yourself, not just because someone says it. <sighs> Confirmation bird. Because I feel like when somebody just says you need to change, you get triggered by it. Why do you get triggered by it? 
why do you hate the fact that someone's telling you to change, especially when it's to do better, not just because they feel like they're better than you. And I even recommended a book to her, and she said she felt dumb for trying to read it. So, like, what? Hey, this actually get views? Leave a comment on it, because I don't get it. Like, it, to me, she doesn't want help. She doesn't want to do better. So, what are you to do with a person that way? Them being your mother at that. Them being the grown up and you're the child and you get it as a child but they seem to not get it hey it is what it is at this point i just feel like with this being that this is my longest episode i even stopped picking up the mic it's not even plugged in don't have no headphones but i just liked holding it but for real it's raining i really want to show y'all my balcony yeah i'm gonna do that because I, I just love my environment and I'm grateful for my environment because I'm in a new city that I've never been in and I feel really good and I'm glad that I'm not around people that try to make you feel bad for you know anything that you do literally anything that you do because I'm saying so I'm literally saying okay you go do this then do it but you gotta know why you're doing it so you ain't just living like to prove a point and that's honestly what I'm getting out of it. I'm trying to I'm breaking generational curses. Like, I know it's becoming uh, a cliche now because people are saying it and not really doing it. I'm literally doing it, and I'm grateful for that because I'm not trying to have kids anytime soon. I'm trying to actually heal from my things before popping out kids so I don't blame them for my financial losses or my problems that I created. I want to actually do better before I do that, and that's just that. I want to get my money right. I want to heal within I want to become emotionally stable for my children and for my friends and for my family that I already have the ones that actually show me love and show that they care about me and not just you know talking shit because they mad don't look at the stuff that's my art stuff on the bottom but just look this is um decent quality. I don't know if you can see the rain. Don't look at my mat. I was doing some art stuff. I actually I actually was building a table out there. I'm gonna show y'all. And then that's my art up there. I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna show you the, the stuff that I'm proud of. That didn't work. Where's this light at? Hold on, hold on. That's my table I'm building. I just bought another tub. Oh, can you even see? Oh yeah. I just bought another tub of this. Putting the um compound on there. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I'm doing a damn thing. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a damn thing for real. Cause I'm really trying to take this one day at a time. Because I know I haven't recorded in months just because I was getting my stuff together and I felt like it was put on the pause because I didn't know if I wanted a relationship or not because my money was literally not there. Like every job I was applying to was either denied or they didn't give me the hours. Like, and the job that I do that that blah blah blah, 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 blah <laughs> that I did land, I was crying there. Like, I was just like boohoo crying because I just didn't want to be there. I didn't want to work for nobody. But it's like, okay, if you don't want to work for nobody, what do you want to do? What are you going to do about it? I ain't got no money, so I don't know what to do about it. Like, it's just that going through my head. But then in the meantime, I'm just, I don't know what to do about it. Like, I'm just smoking it away. Smoking the problems away. Smoking irritability, irritability away. Because I'm like, damn, my mother can't even be there for me. My biological sperm donor don't even want to be there for me because I recently made contact with him the year before my real dad passed. So that really made a connection for me because I'm like, damn, if I would have never, well, I feel like that if I would have never tried to get in touch with that timeline, it wouldn't have messed up this timeline with my dad. Like me making contact 
Honestly, I'm not even going to say that. Let me stop even thinking that because I didn't even make contact with that man. I made contact with my sister that he also birthed because he just popping out kids and now because apparently she even told me that he got another child way on another state. Like it's just even the grown niggas and shit. Like they just doing shit just to do shit. And then got the nerve to say that I want some money from him. Like, sir, if you only knew how much I don't care about money, I just wanted to talk to my sister that I never had. I never had a sister. So me having interest, I feel like that's that's as simple as that. So I met her and I'm grateful that I met her. I'm grateful that we had a wonderful time because I was also told, of course, by my mother that they ain't want nothing to do with me. Like, it's just, it's just that. I mean, she was right about him not wanting that, but he still wanted a relationship with me. It was just a difference be because also that bothered me. How she would try to make it seem like nobody cares about me and how nobody wants to talk to me. Like, okay, you're just saying this to keep me separated from the people that you talk to on a daily, literally, or the people that you just, I guess, suck up to because, hey, the reality, half of them, I don't want nothing to do with either. That's why half of them are blocked, and I don't want to talk to them because there's nothing to talk about. But, of course, I'm being disrespectful by respecting myself. What are you going to call it at this point? Because if half the things that you say aren't true, it's going to be your fault. But, of course, I forgot to act like I got the mic. But, of course, she does no wrong. So, I'm done playing pretend. I'm done feeling bad. Honestly, I stopped, I've been stopped feeling bad for her because she tried to use the same thing that she used for everybody else with me. And it's like, okay, now you're really pushing it. But, hey, keep doing your thing, queen. I am going to continue to do better for myself. Three, two, one on the clock. I'm grateful for my ancestors because they are handling it. And they're going to continue to handle it. And I'm grateful that they're handling me. I'm grateful that they got me. I am so grateful. I, I'm going to start making more gratitude lists because I'll be breaking down at times to where it's like I, I am extremely grateful because this came out of nowhere and it came fast and it came just in time. All that at the same time because when I was down, like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do. I wanted to start my business, but still ain't had no money at the time. I wanted my apartment, still didn't have no money at the time. And then, boom, it came. It came. And why? Because I believed in myself. Because I believed my words. And I stopped telling people that didn't believe it. I stopped telling people that talked down on me. I stopped telling people that really are against me but keep trying to tell me that nobody's against you everybody loves you everybody and though literally everybody is on the phones chatting about me so instead of talking to me to actually check on me but hey it is what it is because i'm gonna keep living and i'm gonna keep living yes indeed Damn, this shit almost an hour long. Should we keep it going to an hour? I don't know. It might not. Well, I probably will upload because I do got episodes that are like 20 to 30 minutes long on there. But I don't even know what to call this episode. Probably just the narcissist. The narcissist, plural. Because, hey, we ain't put a name on the others. But, of course, the traditional ways are manipulative. The Bible be manipulative. It does have um, good things in there. I'm going to admit it does have good quotes in there but um these folks these folks are taking it literal on what they're supposed to do but yet are not doing it that's just what it is but shout out to Keisha that found her way and still is my aunt she actual Christian that actually lives by what she says and does what she says that's why I'm stop making fun of her specifically everybody else y'all whatever and that's that's all that's all it is because I feel like she's actually doing good she's actually doing better and is a great mother and is a great aunt and love you Keisha because I don't even know she's gonna see this because I don't I don't even put my stuff out there it's just whoever sees it sees it and the the nice lady or nice girl that's going through something similar like with their moms 
it's not you. It never will be you that's doing anything wrong because older people don't want to heal. They just want to blame the world. Do your thing. Do what you want. Please. That's my biggest lesson. Do what you feel is right. Do what you want. Do the things that you love. Because I promise you, everything else comes. Like It literally comes to you right quick and fast. No grief for that. Next up. Well, y'all gonna see next next episode because I don't want to talk too much. I just want to do, and then when I do, that's when I talk. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, have a good day.